Coalitional game theory is an approach to modeling strategic situations that stands in contrast to what's usually called non-cooperative game theory. And um, in fact, coalitional game theory is often called cooperative game theory. The names are a little misleading, and I'll get back to that in a moment. But let's first speak about what situations does coalitional game theory try to model. You may recognize these two fine-looking gentlemen. Uh, the person on uh, the left is uh, David Cameron, Prime Minister of, of, of Britain, and uh, to his uh, uh, to his right, as we look at it, his left, uh, as they sit, uh, is Nicholas Clegg, his coalition partner. Now, here are two uh, political uh, rivals who nonetheless come together, and presumably there's a reason. There's something where they can accomplish together that they cannot accomplish uh, alone, in particular in this case, command a majority in the, uh, in the parliament. And so that's a classical example where uh, a coalition formed. In fact, we usually, when you think about coalition, we think about political uh, parties. But uh, coalitions form uh, not only in politics, they certainly uh, form in business. So the wind coalition is a the coming together of a number of firms in the United States to promote the joint agenda of wind energy, uh, turbines and such. Uh, again, these are companies who are uh, competitors, and nonetheless, they feel that together there are things they can uh, do that they can't do alone. For example, lobby government, establish standards, and things of that nature. Now, coalitions aren't always among organizations or parties or firms or heavyweight things. We as individuals routinely come together to accomplish things together, whether it's to enter in marriage or, for example, uh, build a house. Uh, when you have a carpenter, an electrician, and, and, a, and a painter that come together, they uh, together can accomplish something that they can't uh, on their own. Now, the mere fact that people come together doesn't mean that their interests are aligned or that they uh, bring the same amount of value to the coalition they've formed. It could be, for example, that the uh, uh, framer of a construction uh, crew uh, is irreplaceable, but electricians are easy to find and one could easily replace. And presumably, when they get paid for the house they build, that should be reflected in how they divide the, uh, the payment. And so there's a competition of both cooperation and competition here. And, um, and so for that reason, calling these cooperative games, uh, as the, the common term is, uh, uh, is a little misleading. Um, just as much as non-cooperative game theory is misleading uh, as well, because, uh, for example, if you look at a normal form game, uh, the canonical uh, representation of a non-cooperative game, uh, one can easily describe a completely harmonious situation of so-called team games or common payoff games where the interests of the agents are completely aligned. So both uh, non-cooperative game theory and coalitional or cooperative game theory model both competition and coordination. The essential difference is the basic modeling unit. In coalitional game theory, the basic modeling unit is the group, the team, and what they kind of can accomplish. And the analysis is based on this basic modeling. 